Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today I have part 2 of my Disney series collab with Ali Brienne for you. We are again collabing on this video, if you haven't checked out her channel I will be linking it down below. I love her channel and I think you would definitely find something on there to watch because she does so many different videos. She does wear tests and reviews, unboxings, tutorials, for looks one palette, skincare videos and fun series like this one. So in her current Disney series where she creates again character inspired looks for each movie, she collabs on all of the 8 videos and I'm joining her for 3 of them. So don't forget to check out her video as well, I will be linking everything down below in the description box. Today we are going to create looks for Belle and Gaston from the movie Beauty and the Beast and in every video we are going to create two looks, one for the princess and one for the villain. And I would say let's hop right into look number one. I'm only using my Midnight Masquerade palette by Colourpop today, which is the palette that has inspired Alice Disney series this time, so she will be using it for some of the looks as well. I'm taking the color Pip on my Morphe R39 brush and I'm blending this color into my crease. I kind of fell back in love with this palette during the series and I haven't realized how much I love some of the shadows in here until I started using it again. So I wanted to create more of a natural looking glam look for Belle because I think she seems to be quite more of a natural beauty. and. So I'm starting with this pretty neutral transition shade. I have been watching the movie the other day to prepare for my two looks and when I started my boyfriend has been working on his computer and he wasn't so interested in watching it with me. But then after about 10 minutes he got up from his desk and glanced at the TV and shortly after that he was sitting next to me and he watched the whole movie with me. Because the two main characters are quite a unique and interesting couple to watch and they both are so strong and brave in their own ways and I think opening up for a relationship and for love in general is a very brave thing to do and we watch them become this brave person. Then I'm going in with the color Meriwether, which is this beautiful dark blue and I'm using my Sigma E42 brush to blend it onto my outer corner. I am trying to stay very precise only on the outer corner so that these shades don't mix too much because I'm a bit afraid that they might get a bit muddy if they blend too much into each other. This look is very much inspired by the dance scene of the movie where he is wearing a blue suit and she is wearing her yellow golden dress. And I think this movie is such a great one, it is again one of my favorites and I think that the love story between the two of them is so special and especially if you watch this movie as an adult, it has so many fun and charming characters in it and it is great to see the two main characters evolve so much and finding their way to each other. Now I'm applying the shade Mama Odie on the inner part of my lid. I just rediscovered this shadow and I thought it wouldn't be intense enough to apply it alone on the lid because it is a bit sheer but it is actually quite beautiful. I love the light lime green color of it and it is almost looking like a gold and I think that goes so well with this look. Now I'm going to buff a bit more of Pip onto my lower lash line. I love how Belle is described in the movie as this a bit unusual girl with all her big dreams and her head up in the clouds and I think a lot of us might be able to refer to that feeling of not quite fitting in and wanting more from life than the usual. At least I very much did feel like that while growing up so my head has always been in the clouds and I have always had big dreams so I think Belle is really one of my favorite Disney characters. Now I'm going to add more of Mama Odie to my inner corner and I'm using my Morphe M213 brush for it. I want to add a bit more gold to this look so I'm going in with my NYX glitter golds in the color industrial beam and I'm blending it out with a small smudging brush. Now I'm going to apply some mascara off camera and I'll be right back. This is our finished look inspired by Belle 
I have to say that this is my favorite look so far. I love the blue on the outer corner and the shimmer on the lid. And yes, I think it's so beautiful. Now let's continue with look number two. I'm starting with the color Quasimodo and I'm applying it to my outer corner and also a bit up into my crease and I'm using my Sigma E25 brush for it. I have been falling in love with this color and it kind of is strange to me because I usually fall in love with colors like teals and blues and purples but not so much with neutral shades but there is something about this brown that is so beautiful to me. It is this rich chocolatey color that is so creamy in texture and I just love it. So for Gaston I wanted to create something a bit over the top but still grounded because he is this very self-centered, arrogant guy and he thinks he owns everything in the village, especially the women and he's also a hunter and he fills his life with his trophies and I wanted to show both of these aspects in this look. So I wanted to create a halo eye with a bit of a different touch to it and I wanted to ground the look and bring in his passion for hunting with the brown color. Now I'm blending very very softly over the edges with my Morphe R39 brush and the color Pip. Next I'm applying the shadow Gaston which is named after him and I'm applying it to the inner part of my lid. I'm using a bit of a denser and smaller brush here to be able to be very precise here because I think a darker red on the inner corner can get out of hand very quickly and we don't want that. Now I want to tie these two colors together so I'm using the color Pip again on my Morphe M506 brush and I'm blending this color into the crease and on top of the other two shades. Then I'm just quickly blending over the edges with a clean big fluffy brush. Now for the center of my lid I want to add some gold there, so I'm going in with the color Mrs. Potts who is a character from this movie. She's the teapot in the castle and she's spoken and sung by one of my favorite, a bit older actresses, Angela Lansbury. I think this look needs some gold too because Gasto is always on the hunt for the best, the best trophy to have and at first it is Belle and then it is the Beast and I want to show his love for the best thing to have with this rusty golden color. Now I am adding a bit of the color spinning wheel to my inner corner to add some brightness there. From a lower lash line I want to keep it pretty simple because I want the upper lid to be the main attraction of this look so I'm just blending a bit of Gaston to my lower lash line and I'm keeping it pretty light. Now I'm going to apply some mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Here's our final look. I love how it turned out. I think the brown and the red are going very well together because they have the same depth to them. I love the golden color in the middle as well and I think I will be reaching for these colors even more in the future now that I have rediscovered them. I hope you liked this video, don't forget to check out Alice's video now, I'm going to jump over to her channel and watch her video. I have it linked down below in my description box. Thank you so much Ellie for collabing with me again. I love this series so much and I'm so happy to be a part of it. There will be one more part coming in about two weeks on my channel, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And thank you all so much for watching, I wish you all a beautiful day.